Amen. Glory to God po. A blessed day po sa ating lahat po. Or this time, it's already evening. So, a blessed evening po sa ating lahat. So, glory to God po. Continue po tayo po sa ating pag-aaral po um, about worship po. And um, last time po, napag-usapan po natin yung lesson 1, which is um, the need of this study. Amen. Kung bakit ba natin kailangan study itong um, um, worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. So, um, Kung meron po kayo mga katanungan or gusto i-share po regarding sa lesson 1, please do share what God wants to reveal in your lives po. And pwede po natin yan pag-usapan, amen, sa group chat or even sa personal na kawain po natin, personal meeting po natin sa simbahan po, amen. But glory to God, but for now, we will continue to um, study the lesson po in lesson number 2 naman po tayo, lesson 2, which is ang title po ng lesson na ito po is Worship Defined, Amen? But before that po, before po tayo mag-continue um, sa lesson po natin, um, let us pray po muna, Amen? <clears throat> Yes, Lord, praise, praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, for this day, for every day sa mga buhay po namin, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for teaching us, Lord, about how to truly worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Thank you also, Lord, for in lesson one, you have revealed to us, Lord, the, our problems and, and how to solve those problems, Lord. And really, Lord, the only way to solve our problems, Lord, our our um, attitude, our our behavior, Lord, in the way we worship you, Lord, is really, Lord, to have a true repentance in our life, Lord, and to accept you, Lord Jesus Christ, as our Lord and Savior. And Lord, as we thank you also, Lord, for today that we will continue to, to study your word, Lord, in lesson number two na naman po, Lord, which is the definition of worship po, Lord. And Lord, unang una po, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness, patawat po, Lord, sa mga kasalanan, sa mga nagawa, na isip at nasalita din po, Lord. Lord, salamat po, Lord, Jesus Christ, for you said in your word in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, you're always ready, Lord, to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Lord, we thank you so much. We have been cleansed again, Lord, from all of our sins, past, present, and future sins. We thank you, Lord, and Lord, we do believe right now, we are ready now, Lord, na malaman. Or matuto na naman po, Lord, another lesson from you, Lord. Lord, guide us, Lord. Give us wisdom and knowledge, Lord. And humble heart, Lord, and open mind, Lord, open heart to accept every lessons that you want to reveal in our lives. And help us, Lord, to apply these lessons, Lord, about worshiping you, Lord, in holiness, in the beauty of holiness, Lord. And help us, Lord, to worship you, Lord, truly, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord, so much, Lord, for your grace, mercy, and love. And Lord, we rebuke, Lord, Satan and all the works of the enemy in Jesus Christ's name. And Lord, all the glory and praises belongs to you alone. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord, through your Son, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen po. Glory to God. So, continue po tayo po sa ating lesson um, about in worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness by Jean Taylor. <clears throat> Amen. So, sa lesson 2, sabi po dito, um, definition about worship. What is um, what is worship? Amen. Worship defined. Amen. To properly understand any study, a comprehensive definition of its topic and the words used to express it, express it is needed. Since ideas are communicated with words, one must know their meanings if he is going to correctly understand their message. Of course, kung magsasalita ka naman po ng mga salita, dapat alam mo yung mga sinasalita mo or gin, uh, alam mo yung meaning ng mga words na ginagamit mo. Amen? Therefore, in order to properly comprehend God's message in the Bible, one must seek valid definition to the words his inspired writers employed in writing it. Amen. So, in this topic po, worship ang pinag-uusapan po natin. So, dapat <clears throat> alam din po natin anong ibig sabihin ng salitang worship or ano bang Tagalog sa worship pag... Um, pag... Basta pag-worship. <laughs> pag Amen. Praise God. Um, to rightly understand what God expects of him and to know what it truly is, one must define worship as God used it. Amen? He just cannot go to a modern English dictionary where it is defined as an act of paying divine honors to a deity, religious reverence and homage, adoration or reverence, reverence paid to God. 
Amen. This definition, while generally used in our society, is not sufficient to completely define worship as it is used by the inspired writers of the New Testament. Amen. So, funny po yung author po dito po kasi binabanggit po niya na um, he just cannot go to a modern English dictionary where it is defined. Amen. Sabi po niya, he cannot go pero kanang nilagay pa rin niya yung definition, yung worship in an English dictionary po. So, he's... I think he's wise. At the same time, funny po na binanggit niya po ito. Pero in English dictionary po, ito po talaga ang ibig sabihin ng worship. Act of paying divine honors to a deity, religious reverence and homage, adoration or reverence paid to God. Amen. Pero po, ang gustong ang gusto ng author po na ibigay sa atin na definition is not from the English dictionary. Amen. Hindi po ito mga English dictionary po kundi yung um, sorry po ang ang ay, ang gusto po ni ni ng author po dito po na diction na meaning po is from the word of god Amen. Sorry po na putol. Anyway po, um, uh, so yun po, um, ayaw po ng, uh, ang gusto po ng author po dito po is hindi tayo magkukuha ng, ng definition from only the normal dictionary but he wants us to be based on the word of God din po. Amen. So, sa meaning po na based on the Bible po. Amen. Next po. For example, in the King James Version of the Bible, our English word worship, is used to translate six different Greek words which appear in the original text. The word as it is used today does not always convey the meaning of those different terms. Amen. So, according po sa King James Version na Bible po, uh, meron po palang um, six different Greek words yung the word worship. Amen. So, dito po sa pag-aaralan po natin, malaman po natin itong six different Greek words sa worship po. Amen. To fully define worship, one must consider and examine those Greek words and co come to an understanding of their usage. When he does, he will find they have three b basic meanings. Amen. So, the three basic meanings are to make, to be, to make obeisance, do reverence to, suggesting an action performed indicative of the worshippers' reverence for the one being worshipped, an attitude of reverence or piety. Any service we perform in our lives in obedience to God's will and in relation to His nature. Amen. So, dito po ang basic, three basic meanings po daw, po daw nung six Greek words noon sa worship po is, ang, is ito pong tatlo po. Is the in doing, attitude, and service. Amen. Ito po yung three basic meanings na mga six Greek words na po yun. Amen. So, ito po pala yung worship natin po. Dapat meron tayong doing, meron po tayong attitude, tamang attitude po, at meron po tayong tamang service. Amen? Next po. Definition 1, proskaneo. Amen? Proskaneo is the first, is the most frequently used Greek word for worship. Amen? So, it is found 60 times in the New Testament. It literally means to kiss the hand toward to uh, to kiss the hand to or toward one in token of reverence. Amen. And to make obeisance, do reverence to. Amen. So, ang ibig sabihin po ng reverence po, by the way, is yung nire-respect mo yung um, yung wino worship mo. You're, you highly respect the person or the one you are worshiping. Amen. You have high honors to that person po. Amen. That's why yun po ang ibig sabihin ng reverence. Ang obeisance naman po is Yung in action po, it means you are bowing. Amen? You, alam mo po yung magbabaw ka sa isang, um, sa ilang, isang hari or dito sa, sa, sa Saudi, di ba? Magbabaw yung mga tao sa hari, ganyan-ganyan. Sa mga prinsesa, magbabaw. That's how it acts. Yun po ang um, obeisance. Pero po, um, it is also meaning of Opo, yun po. It's also the meaning of obeisance is homage. Amen. It means you acknowledge that person po na superior sa you. Amen. 
So yun po ang proskaneo is the most frequently used Greek word for worship. It is found 60 times in the New Testament. It literally means to kiss the hand to one in token of reverence. Amen. So ito po binabahagi po sa atin sa proskaneo is um di ba you remember um the definition it means sa three definition it has doing, attitude and and um service. Amen. So dito po sa proskuneo, it is part of the doing. Amen. Meron po tayong ginagawa. At sa proskuneo po, ang ibig pong sabihin dito na to kiss the hand to. Amen. So meron tayong ginagawa. So ito po dito, kinikiss daw, hinahalikan po, hinahalikan po daw natin yung kamay ng mga um, nirerespeto po natin. Amen. So for the Lord po, um, when we worship the Lord, we act something, we do something when we worship God. Hindi lang po kanang hang hanggang wala tayong ginagawa. Amen? So, yun nga pong pinag-aaralan po natin through the life of Pastor Dante po na sabi po niya, there, when we worship, there is obedience. Amen? Meron pong tayong talagang gagawin. Amen? Meron pong doing. Hindi lang po yun, o hindi lang po yun na wala kang gagawin. Meron po talaga siyang um, gagawin. Amen? Praise God. Next po is, this word probably comes closest to the meaning, the same thing that we do when we use our English word worship. For generally, when we speak of worshiping, we have in mind some particular act being performed, like singing, praying, observing the Lord's Supper, etc. And this is just about what this Greek term means at this it is used in the New Testament. Amen? So it's true po na yung una-una po talagang mapapop up sa mind po natin when we say the word worship is yung pagkanta. Amen. Yung yung pagsayaw or pag um pag pray, amen. Pag pag punta natin sa simbahan, uh, pag observe sa Lord's Supper, amen. So we are doing these things. Amen. So or we are actually worshiping the Lord when we are doing something for the Lord po. Amen. In reverence to the Lord, in respect, in high in high honors to to the Lord po. Amen. So we are doing something for the Lord. So yun po ang unang ibig sabihin po ng worship, especially in the Greek word proskuneo po. We are doing something for the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So in the New Testament, it is used to denote an act of homage or reverence paid to God. Amen. As I've said earlier, homage po is the you're re really acknowledging God as the superior in your life po. Amen. So meaning kung superior po siya sa buhay mo, you are doing something um, to do what God wants to do in your life. Amen. At reverence, you honor Him, you respect Him. So what God's will is sa buhay po natin, we obey it because that's how we worship Him. We, we obey what He wants to do in our lives po. Amen. Um, it is of an act of home major reverence rendered to Jesus. Amen. Not only to God the Father, but also as well to Jesus Christ. Amen. At yun po ang mga ginagawa po um, ng mga disciples nung, nung he, they were following Jesus Christ po. Amen. They were giving homage um, si Jesus Christ po talaga yung superior nila kung saan si Jesus Christ andun po din po sila kung anong inuutos ni Jesus Christ. Yun din ang ginagawa po nila po. Amen. So, ganun din po tayo po when we worship Jesus po. Whatever Jesus wants us to do po, um, we do it. Amen? That's why we call Him Lord. Lordship. We obey what Jesus wants to do in our lives. So, what He wants us to, what, what His commandments sa buhay po natin. And we all know the two greatest commandments that Jesus has generalized it um, sa Old Testament po sa law is to love God above all else and to love our neighbor as we love as we love ourselves. Amen. And I believe um, that neighbor po is also part our enemy. Amen. Our enemy is also in that neighbor po. So we only not love to those people we love but also the people even to those people that we hate. <laughs> even to those people that Kana, we treat as our enemy. So, hindi na siya enemy. Hindi na talaga siya hate natin kasi we love them eh. So, there's still, there are our neighbors na hindi na siya enemy but they are um, part of our neighbors. Amen? To refer homage, to refer to homage, uh, worship po is to refer to homage paid to a man. Amen? So, um, to refer homage paid, paid to the dragon, to refer to homage paid to demons, to refer to homage 
homage <laughs> paid to idols. Amen. So, dito po, binabahagi po sa atin po na the word worship, not only particularly for the Lord alone. Amen. Pwede po pala itong worship that we do reverence, we do homage, we give high respect or honor, not only to God, but also, but, but pwede din po pala sa mga tao. Pwede din po, las, po pala sa dragon. Amen. Sa dragon po, ito po yung sa book of Revelation na si, ang devil po ito. Amen. Ito po yung um, tinat, um, he is still in the cage. Amen. Hindi pa siya pinapakawala ni Lord at this moment. Pero in the book of Revelation po, God has revealed there that time will come, papakawalan po niya. Amen. Yung dragon po. And ito po, worship means also the ay na and ang homage to demons and idols. Amen. So, worship po pala, pwede po pala yung tao mag-worship sa mga tao, kapwa-tao, sa, sa kalaban, sa demons, and even sa mga idols po natin. Amen. So, that's the word worship po. Amen. So, we we give honor, we give homage, we give reverence to 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 these people po, to, this, to the enemy po by doing something. What are we doing? So, ano po yung mga mga utos ng kalaban po sa, sa atin po? Yun din po ang ginagawa natin because we worship them. Amen? For example, you worship money. Instead na ikaw ang magkocontrol sa pera, ang pera na, ang pera na nagkocontrol sa iyo. Amen? For example, sa when you homage paid to a man, meaning maybe to your to your spouse na instead si Lord ang mag maghari sa mga sa, sa relationship niyo kundi ang spouse niyo na amen so kung anong utos ng spouse sa iyo yun din ang inuut ang sinusunod mo for example um the husband is a Christian and the wife is not so ang ang husband is kanang too much submissive to the wife na ang wife magsasabi na wag ka na mag ng simba so because he is refer he is giving he is worshiping his wife so nagfa-follow siya sa wife niya amen pero hindi po talaga kay Lord sabi ng wife niya or ang husband niya na wag ka mag tights so since that spouse is kanang following or worshiping um, his or her spouse hindi rin siya magta tights amen po Pero ayaw po yun ni Lord. Amen. Ang gusto po ni Lord po sa atin po, we, we worship the Lord alone. We worship God. We worship Jesus Christ po. We worship Holy Spirit po sa buhay po natin. So, kung ano po yung mga utos ng ni Lord sa buhay po natin, um, yun lang po ang uu, yun lang po ang i-obey natin because we worship Him. Amen. Sabi nga ni Lord, you cannot serve two master and ones. You cannot serve both money and God. Amen po. You will either hate God and love money or you will love money or hate God. Amen po. You cannot choose both. Amen po. So, dapat po we choose God po. Amen. Glory to God. Nearly all of these passages indicate some definite acts being performed which demonstrated the worshippers' reverence for the one being worshipped. The literal meaning of the word to kiss the hand toward one correlates very well with its use in scripture. Matthew 28 verse 9, Revelation verse 10, 4 verse 10. A fine gospel preacher, the late Franklin T. Puckett, noted that when he wrote in the house of God, Amen. Ito po yung sinasabi niya na, The word worship is the English term that is used to translate several different Greek words. But perhaps the Greek word must often, most often rendered worship <coughs> in the English is the word proskaneo. This may, this may not mean much at first, but when we break it down into its parts, we get a beautiful picture. Amen. The preposition of pros means to, in the direction of, or toward. And the verb koneo means to kiss, to show devotion, manifesting love, throwing a kiss toward. Amen. The Father above, have you ever had your little son or daughter blow a kiss toward you as you leave for work? You understand perfectly that this is an act of love, a gesture of devotion. Amen po. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin po. When we do something for the Lord po, we do it for love. Amen po. Na hindi po ito na kanang kung meron tayong mga ginagawa kay Lord na like for example, we sing for the Lord, we 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 obey God's will. Hindi po ito na parang na na prepare lang po tayo, na parang na force lang po tayo. Amen po. Hindi po we are doing this because we love God. Amen po. Kasi na, na sense din, na feel din po na da, natanggap din po natin yung pagmamahal ni Lord sa buhay po natin. Amen po. So that's why that's um that's we how we worship po. We do it for love. Amen po. And not no other else po. Amen. Glory to God. Definition 2 po is 
the, the meaning of an attitude of reverence or piety is inherent in three of the Greek words translated worship. Amen. These words do not necessarily include any particular action being performed. Amen. So, yung definition one po is all about doing. Amen po. When we worship the Lord, meron pong kanang kahib, kahabigat. Tama po ba yung word ko na, na ginagamit sa Tagalog? Na, it, correl, it also correlates or May, meron po tayong action na ginagawa we, we should be doing when we worship the Lord but ito po sa definition number 2 um, sa mga Greek words na ito po, binabahagi po ito na when we worship the Lord we have an attitude, amen meron po tayong attitude of reverence or piety, amen hindi po ito necessarily na meron tayong ginagawa pero it's in our attitude po ba, amen po meron tayong attitude so um, uh, eh, Later po, ibabahagi po dito po ano po yung ibig sabihin ng attitude po dito. So, the word sebomai means to revere and stresses the feeling of awe or devotion. Amen? So, feeling. My part po sa atin na when we worship the Lord, it also we also feel something. Amen po? So, it is uh, an um, at attitude. Amen? Uh, Lydia Acts 16.14 and Titus Justus Acts 18.7 are said to be ones who worship God. Rather than describing an act, they did in obeisance. Amen? Um, it seems to relate their attitude of reverence toward God. Amen? Amen? This same word is used by Jesus in Matthew 15 verse 9 where he calls in question the reverence of men who teach their doctrine in place of the doctrine of God saying that such a practice make their worship vain. Amen? So dito po sa Matthew 15 verse 9, ito po yung mga teacher of the law na ang tiniteach po nila is about kanang doctrine of God pero, pero kanang hinahaluan, hinahaluan po nila ng doctrine ng men. Amen po? na na may 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 attitude po sila na hindi na siya according to the word of God pero according na po siya sa based on their based on their own kanang uh, motive po amen po so yun po ang attitude po nila po hindi na po siya totoo amen po parang fake na po siya amen po so um dito po sa homage din po when um Titus Justus and Libya when describing homage it means kang um meron po talaga silang respect high respect to to Jesus Christ po amen or to God po amen so yun po ang ang second meaning po ng worship it talks about our our attitude towards God amen Seba Zomai appears only in Romans chapter 1 verse 25. It is very similar to Sebomai because the attitude of the worshiper again seems to be the predominant thought it means to fear be afraid <clears throat> to honor religiously to worship amen so another attitude po natin when we worship the lord is to fear him amen po it's not it's not kanang um nagtatago tayo sa kanya or kanang nakuan po tayo pero we have really that high respect to the lord amen to honor religiously nga, to worship him amen po it was Hindi ko ma-explain eh. <laughs> Paano ba i-explain yung emotion natin? Paano ba i-explain yung attitude po natin when worshiping the Lord? I mean, I believe it is only you and the Lord nakakaalam po nun. I mean, po kung paano po natin ito na-express po ni Lord yung, yung ganitong feeling of worship po. Ganitong attitude in worship po. I mean po. I think maybe part din po sa worship when it comes to attitude is maybe you cry. Amen. Although it is something doing pero it based on your emotion na, sa, na lumalabas lang siya kusa na umiyak na tayo. Amen po. Um, uh, amen. So, Eusebio means to act piously toward. Amen. Toward the Lord. It is used, used in Acts 17.23. It generally reflects the attitude of the worshiper rather than the, uh, an action being performed. Amen. So, um, yung pious po, it is a sincere. Sincerity means pious ka toward the Lord. When you worship the Lord, sincere po talaga. Amen? So, that's an attitude that you are sincere in worshiping the Lord. Hindi lang po pakitan tao, hindi lang po kaplastikan, hindi lang po hypocrit hypo hypocritical way po na worship ka ni Lord. But kundi totoo po talaga. Amen? Sincere ka mag-worship kay Lord po. Amen? So, yun po ang attitude po natin when we worship the Lord. 
So, nasa na definition number 3 na po tayo po. Actually, short lang po ito. Um, kasi it talks about all the definition. But, glory to God, maganda po itong pag-aaral kasi may mga Greek words, amen, at natutunan po natin yung, yung meaning po talaga ng worship po. Amen po, hindi lang po yung based on what we understand about worship, pero meron po po lang kanang based on um, the definition of worship based on the word of God. Amen. Definition 3, the last two of these six Greek words express the idea of service. Amen. Generally, they include all we do in obedience to God and are not necessarily limited to the idea of what we normally think of as a worship. A better translation of them, as is done in some places in the American Standard Version and some other later translation would be serve, do service to. In a sense, all obedient service is to God's glory and is in effect worshiping Him. Amen. So, glory to God po. Yung definition 3 talks about serving, serving the Lord. Amen. So, yung una pong definition um, ng, ng na six Greek words po is doing. Amen. But the definition 2 naman po is um, attitude. Yung attitude natin in worshiping the Lord. It should be sincere. Amen po. And when we do it, uh, when we worship the Lord in doing, it should be because of love. We love God. Amen. In attitude naman, we must be sincere. Totoo po. And dito naman po, in definition 3, in serving the Lord, it must be glorifying God. It should be to glorify God po. Amen. Hindi po ito, hindi po ito nagsaserve tayo ni Lord para po mapakitan tao sa mga tao, para po sabihin sa mga tao po na meron tayong position sa simbahan po, or meron tayong, um, uh, that, we, that we are capable of doing these things, but hindi po, all for glory, all for the glory of God alone po. Amen. Kasi lahat po ng mga strength natin, lahat po ng wisdom na ito, galing po lahat ni Lord po. At wala po tayong, kanang, hindi po tayong worthy to take any kind of glory po. Amen. We are stealing God if we are taking the glory po. Amen. So all glory and praises belongs to God alone when we worship Him. When we, when we do worship in a way of serving Him. Amen. So like for example sa simbahan po, di ba we are singing, we have this praise and worship. Um, we are preaching the word of God. We have we are practicing um, communion. Amen. So we are praying. So it's a it's a worship for the Lord. At the same time, we are serving Him through our worship. Amen. Glory to God. Ito po yung last two na na Greek words po is latreo means to serve for hire, to serve, to minister to, to render religious service or homage, to worship. It is found in Philippians 3 verse 3, Acts 7 verse 42, Acts 24 verse 14, and Hebrews 10 2. Amen. Therapeo means to serve, do service to. Amen. So as we all know already, definition 3 talks about serving the Lord. Amen. So ito po yung um, uh, worshiping God through service. Amen. So Ang sarap po malaman ito mga uh, meaning na ito po because we can test ourselves po if we are really doing the right thing. Amen. Are we really worshiping the Lord by doing? Amen. By doing in love? Are we really worshiping the Lord in our attitude? Is it our attitude po by worshiping the Lord sincere? Totoo po ba? Amen. And third naman po is are we worshiping the Lord through service, so through service, through serving the Lord po. Amen po. Nagsuserve ba tayo ni Lord? And are we, are we glorifying God or are we taking the glory po? Amen. So, summary na po pala. Short lang po talaga ito. Amen. So, as W.E. Vine summarizes this definition of these words, he thus summarizes worship as it is used in the New Testament. Amen. A consideration of these verbs shows that worship is not confined to praise. Amen. Broadly, it may be regarded as the direct acknowledgement of God. Amen. Of His nature, attributes, ways, and claims, whether by the outgoing of the heart in praise and thanksgiving or by a deed done in such acknowledgement. Amen. So, yun po talaga ang worship, first and foremost, it talks about doing something. Amen. It is shows. Amen. It's a verb. Amen. Hindi po siya noun, pero verb po pala siya, action word. Amen. So we are doing something. We are doing in our attitude. We are doing in the way we act. And we are doing in serving, serving the Lord. Amen. But at the same time, we acknowledge God in everything that we are doing to Him. We acknowledge God in the way we do 
We acknowledge God in our attitude towards Him and we acknowledge God in serving Him. Amen po. It is all about God. It is all by, by God. It is all for God. And it is all to God. Amen po. All for of all God's glory. Amen po. So, ito po yung um, lesson number two po talks about the definition of um, um, of worship in six different um, Greek words po. Amen. Six different Greek words. At the same time, yung six different Greek words po is divided into three meanings. Ang um, three meanings po is um, worshiping in doing by love, um, worshiping um, in attitude, a sincere attitude, and worshiping the Lord through serving God. Amen po. So, I hope and pray na meron po tayo natutunan sa araw na ito po, sa gabi na ito po, about um, the definition of worship. And I pray na maitanim po ito sa mga puso po natin po. Amen. Thank you po for watching and all the glory and praises belongs to God alone po in Jesus name. So, if you have any question po, if you have any um, wants to share something, please do comment or talk to us. Share what God revealed in your life din po. And you can also share this to your family and friends if you want to po. Amen. Pero maganda din po ito na tayo-tayo din po mag-usap-usap po. Amen. So I hope and pray na this kind of lessons po, it really deepens our knowledge in worshiping the Lord po. Amen. And we'll ma-practice po natin ito, especially in, in our praise and worship, in our music ministry po, magagawa po natin ito. Amen. To worship the Lord by doing, doing in love by by worshiping the lord in sincerity our attitude of sincerity and by worshiping the lord through serving god amen in jesus name amen so glory to god alone po let us pray Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, salamat, Lord, sa araw na ito, Lord, sa oras na ito, Lord, na binigyan nyo naman po sa amin, Lord, para po matutunan yung another lesson din po, Lord. Lord, tulungan nyo po kami, Lord, na truly, Lord, to worship you, Lord, in these three uh, meanings, Lord, which is to, to, to worship you, Lord, in doing means lord we do this worshiping to you lord through love amen because we love you lord and we thank you for your love as well lord thank you so much that we also experience your love thank you lord for your love mercy and grace thank you lord and lord help us also lord to worship you lord in sincerity in our attitude lord na hindi kami makikita lord kundi ikaw lang po lord sa buhay po namin lord help us lord not to be a fake christian lord but a true christian talaga po lord na we worship you lord in spirit and in truth amen and help us lord to worship you lord through serving you lord na hindi po ito ginagawa po namin lord kasi um gusto po namin magpasikat or gusto po namin na na maki, makuha yung glory lord kami ang makita kundi lord ikaw lang po lord sa buhay po namin lord we are serving you lord we are your humble servant lord we acknowledge you lord in our lives and we acknowledge you lord that you are our lord and savior lord hallelujah salamat lord sa sa lahat lahat po lord thank you thank you for your mercy love and grace lord thank you lord thank you lord for everything lord thank you lord we love you lord through your son in jesus name Amen. Amen po. Glory to God. Thank you po for watching. Ito po again po ang message po ni Lord in worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Lesson number two, worship. We find definition of worship. Amen. So, glory to God po and thank you po for watching. God bless po. Thank you. Bye.